And the time is for me at six o'clock. I'll be doing this introduction to Zoom and introduction to virtual square dancing with two couples or three people if you're an individual person logging in. I've been calling for quite a number of years and I've been working with this Zoom virtual dancing for the last month to two months now. I've been doing a mainstream on Wednesday evenings, plus on Thursday evenings, and advanced C1 on Sunday evenings. So we're keeping quite busy, keeping people active. We get people logged in from all over the place. And obviously we do have the same again tonight. And this is to get introduce you on how to operate everything. I'm gonna assume that nobody knows anything about this. All right, because everybody will know something, but not everybody knows everything. Okay, so as you can see uh, in my screen or in some of the screens, we're gonna start off with some of the basics. Uh, you'll see under, in my picture, it says caller Lauren Smith. I can change that to anything. I can change it to just Lauren slash Calgary comma, whatever I want. I can rename what's on that screen. And what's kind of nice is when you log in, if it, your name and where you're from is a good thing to have rather than just your name. And we don't really have to have your last name, but it's nice to, because uh, if it, it gets too long, then you don't see the whole line. So to do that, if you've got a laptop or on a computer, oh, you go- Wait a second. On, no. Wait a second. Okay. All right. No. Yeah. So uh, maybe I should back up one step. There's three ways people log in. One is Muted. on a phone. Okay. And you don't have as many features when you're on a phone as if you're on a laptop or an iPad. If you're on a laptop, you have all the features pretty well. If you're on an iPad, there's a few less. We'll go through some of them. But just to get started, to rename yourself on your screen, you just go in the top right-hand corner of your picture, and there's three dots. You just click it, and it will, on the third line, it says rename. You just click that, and you can just type in what you want. Like, for example, uh, Don and Murray, Calgary, or Dennis, Pat, Calgary, uh, Carol, Calgary, Donnie Young, Australia. So you can change it to whatever you want to identify who you are. So I'll let you do that at your own leisure. Other things you can do is in that same area, you can, uh, maybe I'll go through some of the key features. Uh, we'll go across the bottom. There's a bar at the bottom, uh, on the bar left-hand corner, it says mute. You can mute yourself or un unmute yourself when we're into the chat time in between tips. So that's just a simple mute or unmute so that we, people can hear you or not hear you. Then beside that is it says stop video. You can turn that off so the screen is not showing your picture. Like for example, when we're recording, if you don't want to be seen, you can do that. You can just stop the video and your picture not, will not be shown. Uh, you probably notice in the background of my screen, I have a picture of the Calgary evening skyline. That's having a green screen behind you. I've just hung a green piece of cloth behind me and that will pick up the picture. Uh, I know there's ways you can get a download a green screen onto your laptop, but I have not done that. I don't know how I do that. And then as you scroll across, there's, it says security. You don't need to worry about that. The next line is participants. You click that, that will list all the participants that are logged in tonight. You'll notice it. if you do that, you'll notice it. pretty well everybody is muted, except myself. There are a few that have no video you know the camera showing crossed out that is probably because they're on the on a phone and they're just listening in on their phone all right 
or they just turned off, off their video. And as you can see down at the bottom, uh, there's you can mute, unmute, that kind of stuff. Then uh, if you want to close that screen off, participants. The next one is a kind of an, a good one. It's called chat. You click that, and in the chat, you can send out a like a text message to everybody or a specific person. Say, if I want to talk to, send a message to Dawn to give her a little note about something, I can do that. I just uh, select who I want to send the chat to. There's a little arrow just to the right of her name, and that lists all the people. I'll just, for example, <coughs> I'll click somebody and I'll just say hi. So I've done that. So you can do a lot with chat, you know, emailing or texting everybody with a note by saying hi from Melbourne or whatever you want to do. Or if you have a question, you can text me a question, but anytime anything is texted to me, especially if it's a question, I will keep it private. Yeah, say if you're having trouble with a move, I will automatically keep that private. I may say on the screen, I'll say, somebody was asking about how to do Dixie style. I'm having trouble with that call. Can you do that again next tip? I won't say that it was Dawn that asked that. I will say, somebody's asked about that. And usually if one person's asking, others are asking also, or wishing that to be worked, so I will do that. Uh, other things, I can send everybody a file right from my computer, like a word search or a list of moves or anything. I can send a picture to everybody. So I could do that. And then you can just download it onto your computer. So that's the chat. Share screen, I've disabled that. So you can't do anything like that. Uh, record, uh, I've disabled that because uh, I've got, we're recording it for our Calgary district. We will be putting it on our website, on YouTube. So you can even, even view with that any of the recordings at a later date, whether it be an individual tip or, for example, this explanation, we will do that. So that's some of the basic information about Zoom. On the bottom bar, if you went way up onto the top, uh, there's exit full screen. That's just like any windows. You go to a full screen or uh, a partial screen. You can do a split screen putting some of the Zoom pictures on and putting something else on the other side of your computer screen. There's another feature called speaker view. If you click that, right now it's, they're probably all on gallery, on gallery view where you see everybody. If you click it to speaker view, you will only see, should only see the person that's speaking. All right, that's just a changing, just toggling back and forth from the person that's speaking to everybody. Uh, halfway through the screen on the far right and the far left, you got a you know, one slash two arrow. Uh, that show you can scroll across, going across seeing all the other pictures of everybody. Because of course, we can't fit everybody on the screen right now. Because right now we have 49 uh, screens logged in. So of course they can't fit, you can't fit 49 on the screen. So that's the primary things about Zoom while you're on. When we start dancing, I will automatically mute everybody except myself or whoever is calling or queuing. That way we don't have the extra noise. 